Big old bands. No, you right. No, I'm, go ahead. I'm listening. No, you right. And I wanted to apologize to you for that. I know, I know I went on video and I said... They need to lock you up because you was the one that it was, you know, I thought that when he got hit in the back of the torso and I thought, see, you were standing behind him. That's what I thought, but that's not what. Right, right, man. I, and I wanted to apologize to you. See, I'm a man of my word. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? I'm real like that, and I just wanted to just say I apologize because I knew once the real came out and the story came out, I get exactly what I needed, and it fed my spirit, and that's why I want to tell you, Miko Benz, I apologize. I realized that it wasn't nothing that came from that. Yeah, that tool you had, it wasn't nothing came out of that tool that in a takeoff body and made him meet his demise. So I just want to tell you that I apologize, first of all. And second of all, I just want to tell you, I'm glad that you went down there to the police department and you did everything you can do to bring justice for takeoff. Right? I'm glad you did that. See, that's what you're supposed to do when you love somebody. Man, you don't care about no street codes. Right? See? That's what Grove Hero doing. Grove Hero working with the police, the FBI, the CIA. He working with UPS, FedEx. He working with everybody. <laughs> yeah, he even make, he even working with the U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> anybody that can help bring justice for who took our young dog. He working with. <laughs> yeah, he, he working with the U.S. Postal Service. He working with UPS, FedEx, Amazon, <laughs> Grove Hero. Working with anybody that can help him. Yeah, he won't. Yeah, he won't. CMG got it. He want them all the streets for life. And I see now. That's what you did when you went down there. Take off with your family, man. See, that's what I'm saying, man. That's that's real love. I know. See, that's why it was hard. Yeah, man, Quavo, man. You don't want to talk about Quavo. Right, 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 right. You don't want to talk about Quavo. I understand and I get it. We ain't got to talk about Quavo. No, nah, man, we ain't got to talk about Quavo. That should cut. Okay, man, we'll leave it right there, man. You know, cause I was gonna say he ain't went down there and said, okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, you know, man. Uh, right, man. You trying to get justice for takeoff? You don't care about none of that. And I feel where you coming from. That's why I say, man, I respect what you saying. Yeah. You ain't nothing like Quavo. Yeah, Quavo ain't went down in there sitting. All right, man. I, okay, 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 okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, now you're right. I, I ain't gonna say nothing else about Quavo not going down in there working with the police like you did. Okay. <laughs> I had to get that last one in there. But yeah, man. Right. I seen that interview. Yeah, I seen that interview that old man did about you. <laughs> Boy, you talking about trying to push a narrative. He trying to push a narrative. He trying to say that. Yeah, like they was intimidated by you. Man, them boys been walking around you all night talking about that he was five too. And that this big old fella. Who said that? Murder Mace. <laughs> yeah, Mace said that. <laughs> yeah, that's how J. Prince Sr. sound. He sound like Mace when he talk. Yeah, man, they try to make it seem like you was a bully. Yeah, then watch this. He... Boy, you know, I heard when he said he wished the bully would have hit you instead of take. I heard when he said that. But C.J. Prince, yeah, C.J. Prince Sr., he old. Yeah, he gets amnesia. He can't remember a lot. 
Then you ain't heard what happened to him. He got skin counsel. You didn't know that? Yeah, <laughs> Jay Prince Sr. got skin counsel. What kind of skin counsel he got? He got skin counsel. Yeah, you ain't noticed. <laughs> he got all that black dye in his face and all that shoe polish on his head. Yeah, his hair blacker than Jermaine Jackson. Yeah, all that, literally all that black on his face. All, gave him skin counsel. You ain't never seen no black person get skin counsel. He got skin counsel from, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that black stuff, man. He, this, I know I said the same thing. All that black in your face and in your head, trying to be young, man. You ain't young, sucker. Yeah, tell my bosses moving together. No, 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 he, no, no, he, he didn't embarrass you. I'm telling you right now, that wasn't embarrassing when he said that he got your paperwork. Man, what's embarrassing about having your paperwork and you already know he got your paperwork because you went down there and did what you were supposed to do and the honor, yeah, you was under and take off. Man, everybody don't care about the streets. Yeah, boy, look at her. You just joined the crew with T.I. and Gunner and all the rest of them. But look at her. Don't feel bad. Everybody know Atlanta is full of rats. Yeah, that's what y'all, man, y'all know. Y'all are the capital of telling. Ain't nobody got more snitches than Atlanta right now. Yeah, man, I, I told when I went to New York, I went up there and I told New York, I say, y'all ain't got no rat epidemic. Cause see, they was down there talking about they got a bad thing with rats being in restaurants. I say, <laughs> Atlanta got way more rats than they got. <laughs> oh boy, y'all be telling it. But it's all good though, man. He ain't trying to call you a rat, but hey, guess what? He a rat too. Yeah, he worked with the Man, everybody know Jay Prince Sr. working with them folks. Yeah. Everybody know his son allegedly took a plea deal. See, that's what I'm saying. He told my throwing rocks and hiding your hands. He do the same thing. Yeah, he don't work with them folks. Of course. Everybody know Jay Prince Sr. is a well-known snitch. They just don't, you know, they don't say nothing about it because they already know he'll get mad and upset. Yeah, and then, you know, they don't want him to get mad and upset because, you know, he still got a little muscle and a little pull only in Houston. He only, yeah, he only bad when he in Houston. When he anywhere else, he ain't bad. No. Boy, you see in the way for next two times, get done. Boy, ain't nobody paying no attention to none of them people like that. Especially somebody with the last name of a prince. Now, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, J. Prince Jr., he don't work with the laws. J. Prince Sr., it's well known, documented. J. Prince Sr. don't work with the laws. Yeah, Scarface, Scarface work with. I'm not go Google it. Google it. Scarface work with the laws. Drake, Drake work with. The... Drake did. When Drake got robbed over there in Canada. He worked with the laws. See, that's what I'm saying, man. His whole organization is full of rats and rodents and snitches and snapping turtles. He a snapping turtle. Cause that's what. That's what. <laughs> He a full of snapping turtle. That's what Mike Prince look like. <laughs> Mike Prince look like a snapping turtle. Boy, he ugly. You say you thought, you say when you see Mike Prince from the back, you you looked at him like, man, who is that? And he turned around. And you say, oh, that's a man. <laughs> he looked like a boy, dag, a big old black. He ugly. Yeah, I see me all that old fake crap. <laughs> my, my family, man, I said the same thing. Boy, get out of here. Yeah. That, yeah. And <laughs> Tommy, what you say? <laughs> he, do, he do look like a boy dagger. Yeah, he look like one of them backwood boy dagger. 
Cause he do look like he chew chewing tobacco and spit in a can. That's why I'm telling you, man, don't be worrying about what they say. Then you weigh in up now. Yeah, see, did what you need to do. You need to go on over there and get with Offset. Go see Offset finna get active right now. You did, yeah, yeah, man, see, you in it now, go. They told you to, well, listen to me. Man, you already done told it, so you might as well go all the way with it. Offset over, yeah, man, Offset over there chopping wood and pushing cars. Yeah, he, yeah, he over there chopping, yeah, he over there chopping puff wood. Boy, you don't know what puff wood is. Oh, boy, that's that hard. You can't chop through that puff wood. Yeah, he over there chopping wood by himself. Caught, yeah, yeah, Cardi B was there. Yeah, she was making them lemonade. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, Cardi B, people, yeah, she pulled me to the side. She told me, she say, it's time to get active, Jonathan Stewart. I say, no, nah, y'all can't do this. She done made her, yeah, she done made calls up there to New You know she still got them New York ties. See, yeah, see, Jay Prince, yeah, see, he ain't thinking about that. She the real gangster. Yeah, she the real gangster. See, Jay Prince Sr., he ain't thinking about it. going to New York. Ain't nothing going to happen. Boy, don't he know that girl right there is connected. Yeah, they drill rapping hard up there. And then she done went up there and did them songs with some of them up there. Boy, they going to ride for Cardi B. Right? You see, you didn't think about that. See, he got me tell you something. You y'all supposed to make y'all supposed to have Atlanta. He ain't supposed to enter into Atlanta. He ain't supposed to be able to enter into New York. Y'all supposed to be able to cut. It's a no fly zone for anybody in this family when they come to them places like that. Right. I know I'm right. What you say, Miko Bands? You can see things a lot clearer since you talked to me. I'm telling you right now. You better get on over there with Offset. Come in, he finna get active and he need you to stand in a gap with him. Quavo might get mad. But don't nobody care about Quavo getting mad. Yeah, he got choked out last night at the Grammy Award. Allegedly by Offset. Nobody don't care about that boy. He can even... I ain't going to say it. I was finna. I ain't going to say it. But, man, I got to get up out of here. I got a flight to catch. Yeah, I been out here seeing y'all. Yeah, I ain't even seen my kids. I got to go on back home to Texas. I got to go see my I'm Yeah, I'm in the same state as J. Prince Jr. and J. Prince Sr. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> Boy, you ain't seen all of them, nigga. 80% 80, 80 of the bloggers that's talking about them, they all from yeah, they all from Dallas, Fort Worth. And boy, they, my little words ain't got nothing to do with what they saying about them. Yeah, they going live talking about them. Yeah, they getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 views on this man. Yeah, he made good content. No, J. Prince Jr. ain't J. Prince Senior real son. Everybody know that. You say that's set calling you on? That's all set calling you right now? Go on, hey, go on in. I finna go. Go on, hey. That's all set calling you right now. He know it's time to get active. And he know me go bands. And they all, he already know you gonna set it off something like boosting. 